Hello everyone, and welcome back to the shop. I hope you all are doing well. So today, I'm going to be forging a leaf hook. I'm going to be forging the hook from six inches of 3 16 by three quarter inch flat bar. As you can see, I've made two marks on this bar. The first mark is just six inches up from the bottom, but the second mark is so I know where to put the fullers in to separate the stem from the leaf. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this off and then we'll throw in the forge and get it hot. Alright, so now that I have this piece cut off at 6 inches, I'm going to go ahead and use my guillotine tool here to mark that inch, as it's very difficult to see chalk when a piece is very hot. And just like that, it's marked, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the forage, and then I'll pull it out, and we'll put in those fullers. too fast and then you go to flatten it out you can leave cold shots in the material you don't want that okay so I got those fullers put in nicely the next step is going to be to forge down the stem of the leaf so as you can see the stem is coming along nicely. I'm gonna take a few more heats on the stem and I'll be right back with you. All right, so as you can see, I have the stem forged out nicely and I'm gonna go ahead and start forging out the leaf. All right, so to forge out this leaf, I'm gonna go ahead and switch from my rounding hammer to a cross bean hammer. Okay, so I got that tip forged out nicely and I'm gonna go ahead and start to cross bean at the sides of the leaf. So as I'm forging out the sides of this leaf, I'm going to be very careful to start on the inside and work out to the edges. That's going to keep the material hot longer, and it's just going to help the leaf form better in general. Okay, so now that I have it roughed in with a crossbeam hammer, I'm going to go ahead and switch to a rounding hammer to smooth it out. hammer my swage of my anvil. Let's go ahead and give this leaf some texture. You want to make sure that your swage has nice soft corners because if it has sharp corners then that will leave marks in the face of the leaf and you don't want that. All right so now we're going to go ahead and start working on the other side of the head out the scroll and putting a bend in the hook. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and forge out the scroll in the end. The first step of forging the scroll is going to be to go ahead and forge a one-sided taper on the end of the bar. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and bend that scroll around. So the face will be facing up. I'm gonna bend that scroll around. like that. That's all it needs. Okay, so to forge the bend in the hook, I'm going to be using a little bending jig that I put in my post vise. It's not completely necessary, but it's very handy if you're going to be making multiple hooks as it keeps all the bends the same and consistent. And there we go. It's all bent up. So the next step is going to be to forge out the anchor points for the hook where the screws are going to go in. Okay, so to put these fullers in, I'm going to be using a small ball fuller. It's about three of an inch in diameter. Okay, just like that, they're forged in nicely. The next step is going to be to put a little bend in this stem there. wasn't completely happy with the profile of the leaf, so I went over it with my belt grinder and just cleaned up the edges a little bit. So now I'm just going to go ahead and brush 
it up, the center punch, and drill the holes. Put some oil on it, and it'll be done. Okay, so we have the holes drilled out, it's wire brushed, and the last step is going to be to put some oil on it. I just use vegetable oil for this. I've used beeswax and linseed oil, but I found this to be very cheap and it's also food safe. Ready? It's all done. I think it turned out very well. If you guys enjoyed the video or learned something, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.